Well, how do you do, buckaroos? Fake show business is a bitch. <laughs> Trying to set up my backdrop and... It's not a real bar, y'all. Yeah, I know I should try to fool you. I'm not trying to fool you. I just like the way it looks. And so it looks like I'm there, doesn't it? So, so you see me in my living room. Anyway. <laughs> or how some of them do with a curtain behind them covering their bed. But, hey, you know, it's my fake green screen, man. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, so I just found this. It's actually been around for about a month, I guess. Uh, in the past, they've only sold it at the brewery, but I was able to find it at a liquor store. Uh... Six Ale Aversary 2017 Mule Team India Pale Ale from Piney River Brewing Company. Their website has it listed at 10% 90 IBUs. However, their the can has it listed as seven. Although uh, knowing what I do know about the craft beer industry, sometimes neither number is actually correct. But anyway. <laughs> Sometimes they just put stuff down, man. Anyways, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm kind of beer whisper, uh, and and I'm a big fan of piney. Y'all know this. It, look at that color, though. I mean, wow, I'm, my lighting isn't the greatest in here. But I mean, this isn't the the deep golden IPA that almost everybody's doing these days, as far as a double IPA or that real cloudy New England style. I mean, this is a big, deep kind of amber. It's almost a throwback in a way, you know, because nobody's really doing a double like this anymore. Uh, it is big, malt, sticky. It's very herbal, earthy. Uh, you are going to get some citrus and some various other fruit notes, but it really isn't. Uh, uh, those notes really aren't the star here. It's just a big, malty, big kind of throwback double or imperial IPA. Lots of lots of herbal pine on the nose. I'm certainly getting some some citrus. I mean, you're going to get get hints of grapefruit. I'm certainly getting some orange and or tangerine notes. You may find some some tropical fruit notes. Who knows? But I mean, really, it's it's just a big ass beer, man. Oh, God. it's a it's a full-on assault on the taste buds, man. In a good way, I man. It will knock you out, man. I'm, I'm getting some, some, you almost feel some tannins, right? I'm almost getting some, some tea-like notes. A lot of big toast of malt. Again, it is very malty. It's a little sticky. It's not in danger of being too sweet, though. There is enough hoppage there at 90 IBUs to dry her up in the finish. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna. It doesn't linger on you. Or the, the sweetness doesn't linger. The hops do. <laughs> it's not overly bitter, but it is plenty hoppy. There is a distinction, my friends. Oh. Damn. Uh, yeah, I, I like Piney. I've been going out there since, well, since their inception, pretty much. I've been talking about them and, and getting people to go out there and bringing my friends out there and sending beer to friends. And I've been a real proponent of that brewery for a long time. And, you know, they don't let me down. They do some great beer, man. They've always treated the beer whisperer well when I've been out there. They're not a pretentious, uh, pretentious craft brewery where, you know, uh, uh, you know you, you, we've all been to those craft breweries where the, or tap rooms where it seems like the staff is paid to have a bad attitude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they, you ask them questions about the beer and they act real put out about it, you know, like it's not their freaking job to talk to you about their beer. And this is kind of an old school place, man. It's in an old barn, uh... You know, I mean, it's again, I mean, it's out in the country, man. So they've kind of got that country attitude. The first time we were out there, we actually got, I mean, you start going on this road and then you end up on a, I mean, you're out in the woods, man. And then you end up on a gravel road. The first time we were out there or, or headed that way, we, I was wondering if we were lost. I started here to, you know, doing banjos in my head and <laughs> we got attacked by a kamikaze turkey. <laughs> that thing think had a death wish. And heck, there's no shit. I should, you know, this turkey came out and hit our car, man. It was pissed we were on the road, and we were one of the first cars there. I swear to goodness, I, I don't know if that turkey ended up dead or just had severe brain damage. I'm guessing, I, I'm pretty sure it survived our hit, but I don't know if it kept trying to go after other cars, man. <laughs> I have deep admiration for that turkey. 
<laughs> I do. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I'm losing my marbles, y'all. Uh, long week. Oh, looking forward to next weekend. I'm going to meet up. My wife and I are both going to meet up with an old friend, one of, uh, uh, one of our oldest friends, I guess, in the area. Who is the godfather to our son, Seamus. He's not a craft beer drinker, though, but it is going to be uh, it's going to be the Cinco de Mayo weekend. So we're just going to do the Mexican beer thing. <laughs> I actually took him to Mother's on New Year's Eve, and you know he didn't really have a good time. <laughs> anyway, this is not his kind of beer, man. That's okay. We all can't like the same stuff. It's interesting how this beer starts so big, malty, so big and you know big, sweet and sticky, and then just I, I mean at that finish, it just dries up completely. It's amazing how it does that. Either nine, seven, or ten percent, depending on who you want to believe. Yeah, I mean, you can't feel it. I mean, um, some might describe it as boozy. I'm not going to because I think the word boozy is typically meant in a derogatory manner. Uh, you can feel the alcohol. You can feel the alcohol, but not in a negative way, in my opinion. Beer like this, you kind of want to feel it. You need to know it's ten percent, but it, it is hidden pretty well, in my opinion. Oh, damn, my backdrop just went. Son of a biscuit. Boy, I timed that wrong. <laughs> See, now you know I'm fooling you. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. There's a new one. I like this one, too. <laughs> I was trying to get it all on one, but it couldn't. Ta-da! I'm in a new bar automatically. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was teleported. <laughs> Scotty in the engine room just teleported me to the next bar. <laughs> Anyways. I, thanks, beat me up, Scotty. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this beer makes me giggle, man. <laughs> you might ask me, I don't know if you can surgically remove the smile from my face. Hold on, I got a burp right there, though. Oh. oh, excuse me. There we go. Oh, boy. You're really glad you're not here for that one. Ooh. That one would have made you wince. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, oh no, Chad. Ooh. It's like that old joke about the woman, uh, this high society woman. She uh, works hard her whole life to become this high society woman, you know, and She's finally she's got this big party and she's she's got all the important people and she's really trying to make a name for herself. But she's 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 got a fart, man. She doesn't know what to do. So she's looking around, she she sneaks out of the apartment, she looks around, she goes to the elevator, she gets in the elevator and just lets one rip from the top floor all the way down to the bottom. But then she doesn't know what to do. So she takes some air freshener out of her purse and just sprays every bit of it out there. She gets to the basement and the uh, Door opens and this wino standing there at the at the door and he goes, "Whoo!" She says, "What's your problem?" He says, "It smells like somebody shit a Christmas tree in here." Anyways, it's all red fox stroke, man. Uh, that's kind of what. Anyway, that bird was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> anyway, it was like somebody shit a Christmas tree in here. It sounded funnier in my head, I think. Uh, I don't have a laugh track, so I. <laughs> Damn you funny top. Anyways, uh, I digress. So anyway, <laughs> if you're ever in Missouri for whatever reason, uh, of course, uh, the bulk of craft breweries are in the St. Louis area. Uh, we got a, a few nice ones here in the Springfield area on the other side of the state. But right there, kind of in the middle, in the middle of nowhere, is Piney River. So if you ever get a chance, visit out there. I am Tom to be a whisperer. Prolific beer drinker, beer evangelist. Purveyor of wisdom. An all around good guy.